Here in Monaco, the final table is down to four. Four of the best, and this time I am not just saying that. Daniel Negreanu, Antonio Esfandiari, Maria Ho, and Phil Ivey. One of them is going to ship the Silver Shark Fin Trophy, plus a barrel load of cash. And with no cage action yet, that means there's almost a mill ball still in the prize pool. 966,000 reasons to stick around. Six began this journey. But an early upset for Andre saw him go big. All in. He's called and go home. I made a mistake. But I'm really, really happy about playing with these guys. It's an incredible experience for me. Gifting Antonio a monster chip lead. I decided I was just going to run good today. The cage looks set to lock up its first ever finalist. But a mistake from Antonio. All in. Scuppered that. They're going to laugh at you for that one. What I really wanted to see was Phil Ivey being miserable in that cage. I would have paid just to see them. Leaving Phil to get the better of Maria. I can. I had an opportunity to get Phil out. I'm going to go with they weren't rooting for you to win that hand. He's obviously enemy number one. Come on. Cool. KO Jennifer. I was a little upset at myself, but Ivy, he's so good. He's really just playing for first. And Needle Daniel. I'll play. Sure. 10, 10, 6. I never leave home without a 10. Who clearly had the poker gods on his side. He weighs one hand and he just flops through. <laughs> no big deal. You know, I'm <laughs> Daniel Negrano. Now, this consummate quartet continue their quest to shirk the cage and ship the cash. Welcome to Monaco and the final installment of season two of the PokerStars.com Shark Cage. As things stand, Antonio Esfandiari is leading the pack. It's four-handed, I have the chip lead, I'm feeling pretty confident. In my mind, it's just smooth sailing. So far, Maria Ho hasn't been intimidated by the poker royalty surrounding her at the table, and she's sticking to her game plan. It's obviously me against the toughest, best poker players in the world. I kind of want to play small ball. That's more my specialty. Daniel Negreanu sits third in chips, but that doesn't concern him. In fact, his confidence is high. Four left. I'm doing just fine. Cruising in there, ready to throw some jabs. Antonio's got the lead for now, but I'm ready to strike. And Phil Ivey may be the low man at the table, but don't forget, he's Phil Ivy. I'm not like, oh wow, Antonio has chips. That's not even a thought that comes in my head. I've been in situations like this before, and I've won before, and I think I'll do it again. Four players, one prize. I can't believe it's almost over. I'm getting emotional over here. Yeah, someone's gonna be emotional when they win nearly a million bucks. Did you guys basically start playing poker at the same, like, age? No, he started playing before me. Well, I'm older than you by two years, right? Mm -hmm. What, how old were you when you started? 21. No, I started when I was like 17. <laughs> I thought you were going to say seven. No, I started yeah, around cool. 17 years old. For play money, I'm sure. I got all the experience on him. <laughs> <sighs> years of wisdom. If you follow Daniel's tweets, you'll realize his wisdom is sporadic at best. So as we rejoin the action, blinds are 10,000 and 20,000 with a 5,000 ante. It's been folded to Antonio on the button, who's got ace four. The ace is pump fake. Good enough for Antonio. That's a race. Maria folds. Daniel, with jack seven suited, calls. D nugs. Yep. You know, this is the kind of thing that keeps women away from the game. Heads up to the flop. 
which gives Daniel second pair. Bottom pair for Antonio. This is some classic Daniel versus Antonio. Daniel has checked. Antonio bets. I'm kind of surprised he continued when this board hits Daniel's range so hard, but make no mistake, he'd be much happier with a fold here. Daniel calls. I do not think Antonio will bet again. Turn card is a deuce. Doesn't change anything. And the action goes check, check. We're going to the Cage Street. The river is a five. So Daniel's got a lock on this. And if he bets, he'll definitely play the value card. If he gets called, it'll almost always be by a better hand. So he can't afford to risk going to the cage. There's the value card, followed by the bet. As it is, it is the best hand, and he probably won't get called. But because of the cage, Antonio does have to think about it. His shot clock's running. But like a guy coughing into a rag in a zombie movie, Daniel's always got it. Antonio. Down to five seconds. Three, two... One, he falls. Always. Always with the value. That's how I roll. <laughs> we know. Yeah, yeah. That's how I roll. Yeah. You know who else knows? Antonio. i hide these up. I didn't do that. You're I lucky. still for sure knew which one that was. Like, you didn't even mix them up. Mm. Yeah. Cool story, bro. It's true. <laughs> Daniel doesn't have to mix him up. We know it's always value. Daniel doesn't really bluff rivers, which means when he does, it gets through. I know that logic is circular. It's like the chicken and the egg, and, and thinking about that mostly makes me hungry. Blinds are up to 12.24 with an 8K anti. Action will be on Antonio. Queen nine offsuit. Here we go again. He raises. Maria folds. Daniel's out. Phil in the big blind with King-10. Philip Horatio Ivy. He defends. And once again, Antonio's opponent flops best. Phil with top pair, Antonio with second pair. No matter how good a poker player you are, it's hard to win if you can't catch a card. Action goes check, check, turn for free. Deuce of diamonds. Phil picks up a flush draw to go with top pair. And he's very likely to start going for value now. He leads. Antonio's got no choice but to pay this off. We go to the river, and that means the cage is in play. Six of clubs. Phil should feel pretty confident in betting this again. Here comes a chunky bet. And here comes the value card. This time, Antonio's got a little bit tougher decision. Phil's gonna be bluffing here more often than Daniel. Going into the cage at this point would be a bigger disaster than accidentally replying all when you've been BCC'd on an email, Francine. <laughs> we laugh because it's funny, we laugh because it's true. Antonio is down to 10 seconds. Five seconds. He calls! Man, Antonio's been running like he's in one of those dreams where your feet don't move. Phil takes him to Value Town. And to Frown Town. Nice hand. Thank you. Phil now up to one and a half million in chips. You almost feel bad for Antonio, and then you see how many commas are in his lifetime earnings, and you're like, meh. Antonio does still hold the chip lead, but not by much. Phil first to speak, and he's got ace-king. He raises. Antonio with jack eight of clubs on the button. He's lost the first two pots, and I don't think this one's going to go his way either. Oh, he's getting frisky. He tries the little re-raise. Third time lucky. Maria folds. Daniel with ace two suited.
He passes. So action back on Phil. So we know it's virtually impossible that Ivy's gonna fold. But will he do more than call? Whatever he does, he'll do it like a boss, cause he's Phil Ivy. Oh, that's Phil Ivy. Sigh. Ten second warning. Five seconds. I'm all in. Phil shoves. Hiya! Most of the time, this is a fold. Fold like the wind, but Antonio's lost like two hands in a row, and he's probably a little frustrated, and they're suited! Straight flush draw, come on! Yeah, he should, he should probably fold. I just like the action. Antonio's clock is ticking. He faults. And Phil takes the chip lead. A chip lead that Antonio had held exclusively since the start of this final table. But right now, he's getting pounded like a cheap beer on spring break. It's not the best feeling in the world, but we've all seen crazy comebacks before. At the end of the day, it's still poker, and who knows what's going to happen. Four players are still in the mix in the PokerStars.com Shark Cage final. And Phil Ivey is now table boss, having taken the chip lead from Antonio Esfandiari. It's pretty brutal because, you know, it started off so good. I was just coasting. I felt great. I was super confident. I made one mistake. And now Phil's a big favorite to win. Phil's a Denzel kind of guy. The certified badass, you know? Yeah. Denzel's the baddest. That's right. Phil Ivey's got some old school hustle. He knows the moves, he knows how to get the reads, you know, he's an expert. Phil is obviously enemy number one, I think, at this table. So I'm gonna try to stay away from him just a little bit. It's actually pretty close between Phil, Antonio, and Maria, with Daniel bringing up the rear. Blind still 12-24. Action folded to Daniel. Not gonna play his button. Phil with ace king again. Just calls in the small blind. Pocket sevens for Antonio. Get out your springboard and your mat, cause we's about to be flipping. Antonio goes for the raise. Well, if you ain't flipping, then you must be tripping. Put your hand up on my chips. When I flip, you flip, we flip. Please stop. You put your... Okay. When I flip, you flip, we flip. Phil does know there's a shot clock, right? You think this boss cares? He's down to five seconds. And that is a re-race. Action back on Antonio. You put your hand up on my chips. When I flip, you flip, we flip. I told you to stop. All he's got to do is get it in. Ten second warning. All in. Oh. All in and a call. Like blondes versus brunettes, one of these two hands has the slight mathematical advantage. This is the one. <laughs> He's kind of the one to win. Good luck, sir. Thank you. You too. It's a real nail biter. Antonio needs his sevens to hold. He's the player at risk here. And there's an ace on the flop. Naturally. He is a natural, a real wonder boy. Oh. Antonio now needs a seven. That was fun. Yeah. You know? Two outs. And he needs to hit on the river. There's still hope. A 5% chance of survival. The river is a deuce. Deuce of spades. Seven round of applause, please, for Antonio Standiari. Good luck. Gonna finish the short cage.
Good luck, ho. He held the chip lead for so long. Why don't you please win? <laughs> I don't think any of us expected him to go in fourth place. You know, it started off so good. I decided I was just gonna run good today. I was playing pretty aggro because second doesn't matter. You gotta get all the chips or go home. So I was just trying to get all the chips. You get it in and pray to God that an ace doesn't come. But it's Phil Ivey, you know, for sure it's coming ace or king. I mean, you can't fade that. <sighs> that was fun. You know, I ran good, I picked up a lot of hands, but when it really counted, I did not run so good. Geez, is there an address where people can send their cards and letters? Well, there you go, huh? Yeah. That little pep talk I gave you on the break? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm just too good a friend sometimes. Yeah, one more. Build you up. Right. It's a single big blind for Maria on this hand. What's it? Uh, 8, <laughs> you were down in the yeah, dumps. Yeah, I was down. Phil was like, oh, no, man, I just made a big mistake. I'm finished. I said, like, no, Phil, you can do this. <laughs> Look what I did. Created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Created a monster. Two seasons in a row, finals, nobody in the cage. With all that pretty money sitting out there, yeah. nobody wanted it. So that means first gets the whole enchilada, right? Yeah. It's just dawned on me with three players remaining, the cage is out of play. Two years in a row, no cage action in the final. It's more cheddar to the eventual winner. On this hand, we're going to go in the tank with Daniel. We'll only see his hole cards, which are 7-5. He's called. Phil, who now has a ridiculous chip lead, calls out of the small blind. Interesting limp by us like Verbal Kint. Hopefully we'll get away with it, like Verbal Kint. Maria has checked her option. We're going three-way to the flop. Queen, 6-4. Up and down straight draw for Daniel. That's about as good a flop as we could hope for. Plus, we're Daniel. We're going to get there. Phil bets out. Maria folds. I like calling here. Sometimes Phil will give up and we can steal it. Sometimes we'll hit our hand. Daniel does call. The turn card is a seven. Second pair for Daniel to go with that straight draw. Phil checks. I think we should probably just check. I think we should probably just bet. I meant to say bet. Daniel does bet. And what's Phil thinking? He's thinking, what's this guy got? What's this guy over here got? What does he got me beat? Oh, Phil's check raised. And that's why I was going to opt for uh, a check there. We can't really fold this, I don't think. The problem is if we can and don't improve when we face Phil's bet on the river, we'll be in a real spot. Time ticking away for Daniel. Ten seconds left to make a decision. He elects to call. Like there was ever any doubt what Daniel was going to do. The river card is the seven of hearts. Trips for Daniel, but it does put a potential flush out there. Well, what was I thinking? We're Daniel Negreanu. We're Kid Poker. Documentary coming soon. Of course we're going to improve. The problem is that Phil could have been raising us on the turn with a flush draw. Easily. Yeah. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And there's a bet from Phil. Last time we played against Phil, I was dead certain we should call, and I was dead wrong. In this spot, I think he's going to have us beat a lot. Oh, boy. Like a one-legged laundry clerk, I am leaning toward a fold. Daniel is down to 10 seconds. Man, really? I need a time. He plays a time bank chip. The one thing we got going for us is that I don't think Phil expects us to have a seven very often. He could be trying to bluff us off a worse hand. But Phil knows how much Daniel loves the call, and Daniel knows Phil knows that. I just feel like you have full house. You got queen seven. This is basically old poison wine routine. I don't think I can fold it. Daniel calls. Ace queen. Phil claims to have ace queen, but he doesn't. 
He was bluffing with Jack-8. Ivy's fallen victim to one of the classic blunders. Ace Queen, huh? Okay. This is Ivy style. Uh, 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 Ace Queen or Eight Nine, whatever. I don't remember. <laughs> Five hundred, huh? Daniel takes a decent chunk of Phil's stack and takes the chip lead. Never get involved in a land war in Asia, and never go in against an Agrano when you expect him to fold the river. Lines now 15,000, 30,000 with a 10,000 ante. King nine suited for Phil, raising the button. Maria with jack 10 in the small blind. She's now the shortest stack at the table. She calls. 75 is a total. Correct. Daniel getting a great price, but he's way behind. King three of diamonds, three way to the flop. Which is seven, six, six. So Phil had the best hand pre-flop, and he has the best hand post-flop with king nine high. Everyone's checked to the razor. He checks behind. Double paired board now. The king highs are chopping this. And I don't think anyone can bet it. It checks around again. Queen on the river. So if this goes to showdown, Daniel and Phil will chop this pot. But it might not go to showdown. Maria, 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 you cheeky little monkey. She bets. I think Daniel lets this go. No! Think again. He raises! The rare Negranu River Bluff raise. And he gets a fold from the guy he was chopping with. Though technically he's bluffing with the best hand, which means Maria can't even call. She can jamity 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 jam, but it seems unlikely. Yeah, she lets it go. Bluff? Huh? What's that? That was a bluff, wasn't it, Daniel? What are you talking about? It was a bluff. What do you mean bluff, Phil? Yeah, that was a bluff. That one was a bluff. Why? What did you see? You saw something different? <laughs> yeah, Makes well, you think it was a bluff? I just thought it was I gotta a bluff. know. I gotta know. I what just thought that one was a bluff. Phil, I gotta know too. So yeah, you tell me what know. you know. Well, you tune in and watch Shark Cage, and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> they need to know! Got a hand, it's a Phil Ivy. His read on Daniel there was pretty solid. What makes Phil Ivy so great is his ability to read people and he knows for the most part when I'm trying to run a big bluff. It's rare. That was a bluff, wasn't it, Daniel? What are you talking about? It was a bluff. And I made my one big bluff and he's like, you bluffed that one, didn't you? I'm like, what do you mean bluff, Phil? Yeah, that was a bluff, that one was a bluff. How the heck does he know everything? Dear Daniel, you were not bluffing. You had the best hand the entire time. Love the internet. You don't have that much, right? I got more than you. Daniel poke and fell. I got more than he does. Yeah, I got the most. Yay. Daniel's like the only guy on the planet that can get away with this. <laughs> Poking. Blind still 1530. <laughs> King Jack suited for Phil. He raises. Maria folds. Daniel has 6-5. No choice. Can't fold it. Gotta see a flop in the big blind. There's the call. So it's Daniel versus Phil again. And Daniel flops trips. Ha. Eight check. of hearts, six of spades, six of hearts. Check. I don't see Phil falling for this. Check, check. A king on the turn! Now I see him falling for it a little. Daniel leads. Phil now with top pair. Even if you think Daniel has a six, you can't just go fold in top pair. He calls. The river is a jack. Wow, Daniel is running better than Prefontaine. Daniel value bets his trips. Phil Call. forced to call with top two. Nope. 65 for trip sixes. <laughs> Phil shows King Jack for top two. Daniel's trip sixes take five. <laughs> Good call, go, good call. Good thing you didn't raise. That was smart. You know what you're doing. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
smart kid, this one. How do you get, how do you get trips like that? I just, that's how I play. I've been doing it a long time. I'm gonna teach you. I can teach you that trick. Yeah, I wanna learn it. You do? I do. Okay, I'm I gonna do. teach you. <laughs> very, very difficult. But I, I think you're capable of understanding the depth of how you hit flops. That book would be a bestseller. Imagine how I would do if I didn't hit flops. Oh my God, I'd never win anything, ever. I said I should have folded. No. So obvious you have a six. You got 350. <laughs> you ever gonna have like. See, it happens to everybody, even Phil Ivey. So Daniel Negreanu's good fortune continues. Well, if you want to compete against the best in the game, you could join us in Monaco next year. Qualify for the EPT at PokerStars.com. Here at the PokerStars.com Shark Cage final table, Daniel Negreanu's master plan is working. I'm playing tight, huh? You notice that? It's all part of my big plan. You're gonna loosen up at the end when it matters most. That's right. But with Phil nipping in his heels and Maria hanging on in there, it ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Can I get changed at 25? Please. Thank you. Was it you that told me that story about how Phil didn't know who Jonathan Duhamel yes. was after it he was won on the TV, main? I think. He's like, hi. He's like, what, oh, what's I your would've... name? Jo He's like, Jonathan. Everyone's like, he won the main event. And you were like, oh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> I would have taken any amount of money that Phil didn't know my name until like oh, maybe a couple months ago. <laughs> oh, like, really? If, if <laughs> that's the side I would have for Actually, sure. I think you're right. But I don't know, a few, like this summer, basically. No, not a few months ago, but when would you? Yeah. Like, I think my line, my line was your name left. last year. He knew your name last year. There you All go. Right. And I didn't even have to win a main event. <laughs> he knows your name. I don't have a bracelet. <laughs> I made it. I made it. Phil knew my name last year. One time, Phil, Daniel, and I went out, and me and Phil carried a pass out Daniel to his hotel room together, and the next day, he called me Jason. Cool story, Jason. Blinds, 15.30. Maria is the short stack. King nine. Holland. She shoves. Daniel folds, Phil with a six, calls. Phil calls, he Phil's has a six against Maria's king nine. King nine. I'm pretty sure both of you did this correctly. According to the, the nine of spades, the king of clubs. Chart. I only Phil know shove chart, I don't know call <laughs> <Yeah>. chart. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Maria at risk and behind. Phil, do you remember that time like three people ago when your tournament life was on the line? Yeah. Against me? I feel like kind of a return the favor type deal. Give you a shot. I'm good at returning favors. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> get it? Why cut to his mom? I do, That's Daniel. what I meant the first time. I know you did. I'm just helping the people you're at you're home. You're a sick man. <laughs> <laughs> Help the people at home. Who yeah, issues. <laughs> Look at that smile. You having fun, are you, Daniel? Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. That's fun. She will be if she wins this pot. I've had fun no matter what, but I do want to win this pot. Like, let's not. Well, you know, that might if change. If she wins his hand, Let's not get it twisted. I do I said, want to win this pot, but I have King had nine comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, party time. Shots. <laughs> <laughs> Phil gives absolutely zero fudges. The flop is pretty much all Phil. The chart says lots of turns have Maria drawing dead. Really good flop for Phil. Phil's the only player with heart. heart. You are sharp. I know. <laughs> See how fast I figured that out? Ace. You don't need a chart. <laughs> Maria looking for a king or a nine. Seven of hearts on the turn. Reduces Maria's out. I can't decide if the king of spades is coming on the river or the nine of clubs. Yeah, you're between those two. It's a good <laughs> coin flip if those are the two. Maria being swept by her boyfriend, Luke, or Glenn, or no, I don't know, some boy band name. Maria's tournament life on the line. The all-important river card is a seven. She's out in third. Does that mean no shots? Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, son. All right. 
Hey, boss. Play some poker. Yeah, it looks that way, doesn't it? It's been a while. Have we ever been heads up in a tournament? I don't think no, so. No, you always get knocked out before I that. <laughs> you usually come forth, right? So this is different. Thank you don't know how to deal with me heads up now. Whole new ball game. I'm nervous. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so close, but ho so far. I really enjoyed this experience, but I wanted to get to the heads up part where I could really battle it out and test myself against the best in the world. I made it. Phil knew my name last year. To play with so many elite players, if anything, I wouldn't say I won $966,000 worth of experience, but like I won maybe like $50,000 worth of experience today from them. This is the first time Phil Ivey and I have ever been heads up for any tournament. i uh, played Daniel plenty of times heads up, just not in a tournament. He knows my game back and forth. I know his game as well, because we've been playing together for so many years. I know what he likes to do, he knows what I like to do. It's a winner take all event. I know I need to make a comeback. I'm up against a very tough player. I like my situation, but I mean, it's Phil Ivey, so it's not like I'll be able to cruise to victory. I'm gonna have to make some hands. Can you believe we've got Negreanu versus Ivy heads up? Pretty sick. Whatever you need, Phil, you can have. <laughs> it's fine. Give him the button. It's okay. I have the chip lead. Yeah. It's I mean, fine. That's a miracle in itself. <laughs> <laughs> played solid. Tight is right. Yeah, you played great. You guys were getting in there, gambling up, whatever. And I just, you know, plug along. Plug along, wait for me to dump a million to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's, what's going to happen? happen. You, can't, you can't help yourself. I couldn't. Eventually, you're going to do it. This is history, ladies and gentlemen. This is like the De Niro Pacino restaurant scene in Heat. And Phil Ivey, great ass! Blinds are still 15 at 30. Phil raising his button with 9 6. Cool. Daniel's in with ace four of clubs. Daniel starting off with the best of it, like we would expect, but heads up, things can get a little weird. Of hearts, Check. Of Daniel's still Check. with the best hand. And here comes a bet from Phil. And Daniel. Check raises. And I don't think this is really a bluff. I think he knows he's raising with the best hand. Phil calls. That is a weird float. Phil's probably got a trick or two up his sleeve. Or maybe this was the plan, hit a six on the turn. Yeah, one of those tricks was to peel a six, I guess. Daniel now checks. Phil's gonna be pretty confident he's got the best hand since Daniel would probably never actually raise a queen. Phil bets. Roughly half pot. If Daniel calls here, he's probably prepared to call River too. He does call. The River card. Is an eight, so Phil with the best of it. Daniel checks. And Phil bets. This is awesome. I don't have that good a hand. So I don't have that good a hand, but I don't know. I felt like he was gonna try to make a goofy move. So I might pay him. <laughs> 400? Yes. yes. Trying to say you have a queen, sir? When do you have, how do you, you gonna learn my trick, how to flop trips? I, I don't know. Okay. Daniel calls. You're right. And Phil takes the chip lead. <laughs> you son of a gun. I played good, kinda, except you got there. I check raised, queen, eight, queen, three, he calls with six, nine, because he thinks he's gonna outplay me. That's what this kid's doing. I'll bet more, if I huh? missed. Yeah, no, whatever, I'll bet the pot. I don't fold. I'll bet the pot. So? They want you to done. Call, I have an ace. <laughs> Phil really knew where he was at in the hand. Fantastic value bet. I had him. Queen, queen, three, check, raise, call, six, nine. Okay. <laughs> That's the kind of game he's playing. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> like the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. All right. Right here. Yeah, that's what this is. Well, that's what it's like? I'm, you know, I, I do like Floyd. This move. Check, check, check. That don't look like Floyd to me. Huh? <laughs> no. Can't hit him. This is better <laughs> than the Pacquiao Mayweather fight because someone's actually going to win this and it didn't cost 50 bucks to watch it. Right now, Phil has the advantage and the blinds are up to 20,000, 40,000. 8 7 for Daniel. 
90,000. He raises. Ace Queen suited for Phil. Oh, really now? He's re raised. So he did. And he's got by far the best of it. Okay. Daniel Coles. Could be a good one. The flop. Sees Daniel pair is eight. Daniel's back to his old tricks again. Not even a club out there for Phil. Phil continues. Daniel's all in! <laughs> you don't want to know. Four. You got another 1. 1.4. 1. 1.5. 1. 1.6. 1.6. 50 ace high. I mean, that's your hand, sorry. 1. Point what? 1.65. Looks like Phil's calling. Got ace high? Yeah. 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 Phil no calls. Good. Of course. I mean, I got it. Okay. Daniel, a three to one favorite to double up here. Yeah. Daniel's in the lead with a pair of eights. That's correct. But he needs to dodge aces and queens. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Neither one of these guys got to where they are today by being unlucky, <laughs> that's for sure. If Phil hits, it's all over. The turn card is a nine. Daniel now an 86% favorite. Phil still looking for an ace or a queen for the win. Hmm? Yeah, all in. Yeah, I said you. you yeah, you said you. Now no ace, no queen. <laughs> he win. You, 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 you hear his accent? <laughs> yeah, he, he's very good. <laughs> oh, God. I have pair, eight. <laughs> He is no pair, ace high. I told him, ace high, uh -huh. call anyway. I say, you ace high, he say call. No, you win? Not you yet. See? Maybe ace or queen come. Feel, feel, but, but if you, you give me, know. but if you give me 1,000, then I lose. That's it? You my favorite. Okay. okay. You could okay. be bought, you could be bought. <laughs> you could be bought, his allegiance. Daniel, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never heard of a Russian accepting a bribe. The river? Boom. <laughs> It's a six. It's a six. He says boom. Uh, full Daniel's house. Full house. 1.65 million because I got a full house. And he's got ace high over there. <laughs> yeah. Champion over here. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Card's breaking even a little bit. Daniel, now a monster <laughs> chip leader. <laughs> I like playing with you. It's fun. You enjoying it's a lot more it? You enjoying now it I'm enjoying it way yeah. more than I was like a little while ago when you were just betting, raising me all the time. Okay. Man, nobody makes Phil Ivey smile like Daniel. Nobody male, at least. I can't see, uh, how much she playing about? Not as much as I was. Oh, yeah, you don't have that much. Yeah, I don't. What did you Phil raise? Yes, he did, with ace three. Daniel, king deuce. He's in. Well, it is suited. And there's no point in three batting. He'll likely just get jammed on by better. Flop is eight trade deuce pairs for both players. It could all go in here. No. Phil bets. Daniel calls. The turn card is another three trips for Phil. And Daniel is drawing deed. Phil bets again. And that tray ball is a great card for Phil because I don't think Daniel's going to be too scared of it. Yeah, he calls again. We go to the river, which is another eight counterfeiting Daniel's deuces. He's checked for a third time. <laughs> He's looking at me funny. <laughs> Bring it on down to Valleyville. All in. All huh? in. All in. Phil shoved. That car didn't help me. Maybe it did. Are you trying to bluff me? No. Whatever. Go ahead. Daniel Fultz. Had the other pair. Deuces. Mm -hmm. Good kicker, though. You bluff that one? Of course not. It's true. It's true. Unless you folded an eight, he did not bluff that one. Maybe that card saved me money. Yes, it did. 
Yeah. You got an eight? Wow. Nope. You got a three. Yep. Hmm. Lucky me. The deck let you escape. Escape from state penitenter IV. Okay, let's take a break. Probably a good idea. Daniel or Phil for the win. Hashtag shark cage. We're making history on the PokerStars.com shark cage. For the first time ever, Daniel Negreanu and Phil Ivey are heads up in a poker tournament. I feel like for all the poker fans and for all the poker enthusiasts out there, like this is the best outcome possible. Daniel is the chip leader right now, but you can never discount Philip Horatio Ivey. Writing off Ivy would be like trying to write off Botox on your taxes. It's a mistake, and it's going to leave you looking a little bewildered. Blinds 20-40 with a 15k ante. Daniel at roughly a 5-to-1 chip advantage. Action on Phil. Queen 7. The computer hand. I'm going to talk like a computer. I'm a computer. Okay, I'm going to stop talking like a computer. A call and a check. And top pair for Daniel. Second pair for Phil. Not a good hand for a guy who's up against it like Phil. Hard to get away from a pair, like a hot girlfriend who treats you bad. Daniel bets, Phil calls. The turn card is a three. Daniel checks. Phil bets. Quickly called by Daniel. Yeah, Phil can't love that quick call. Six on the river, two pair for Daniel. Check. Two pair. Two pair, good. There. You had that? No, you didn't have a beat. Hmm? You didn't have that beat, did you? Nope. Queen eight? Nope. Wow. <laughs> he shows the queen. You didn't show no eight. What, what else do I have, Dan? I don't know. <laughs> Bill, I don't know. What, do, what, what else do you have? <laughs> what do I play? Abs you play six nine on a queen queen three flop for a check raise. Yeah, I, I, I do, was gonna, I do I was, remember that. I was going to outplay you. Well, apparently. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you did. You just. No problem, six on the turn. <laughs> it, would all, it would all felt different to you if if I missed a six. It would have felt different? It I would have I would have made it feel different. <laughs> you would have made it feel different. Oh, you had me like yeah, made it feel on different. a string like this? That's the thing you don't know. <laughs> you still got me like a puppet. Moar! I want Moar! These two are amazing. That's the thing I don't know, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Daniel with the ivy hand. 90. 9-6. Nine, I think the ivy hand is 6-9, James. And Phil has queen 7 again. I'm not going to talk like a computer. And Phil flops top pair. Daniel with a gut shot straight draw. Bet. Phil might finally get some back here. Or Daniel can continue running like secretariat. <laughs> Yeah, he's got all kinds of tricks. He does that to see what I do with my eyes and yeah. stuff, and then he does it. He's, I gotta stop looking. Oh no! You know I had garbage. You win. He does the he stole that move from Scotty Wynn. He used to do that all the time. Half like this. Voodoo. It's one way to keep Daniel from sucking out on him. You're on a nice run there, Jerome. Thanks, Kid Poker. <laughs> <laughs> He's good. That's Phil, have say. you check raised your mom before when you guys play poker? <laughs> Not yet. Dirty. Check raise your mother? <laughs> Sounds like an insult. <laughs> Careful. Lines are now 25,000 and 50,000 with a 15,000 ante. Phil's got 8 9. He raises. Daniel with a pair of sevens. That's a re-raise. I like the three bet. Daniel doesn't mind getting it in with two sevens here, but I don't see Phil folding nine high either. He's way too likely to be live. He calls in position. 
the flop. Is king eight seven a pair for Phil, but a set for Daniel? Daniel checks. Huh. Phil checks behind. Both playing it slow, but Daniel's playing it slowier. The turn card is a five, giving Phil a straight draw. And now that Phil's got a legit draw, it makes it even less likely that he's gonna fold. Daniel bets. I'm all in. Phil shoves! I call. And Daniel calls! Set. Set's good. This could be it! Oh, I win. Oh no, you need a six. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that part. <laughs> but I'm in good shape right now. I'm ahead. Best shape of his life. Oh, you never know. Yeah. Phil needs a six. Don't do it to us. We got some drinking to do. Four cards Ivy can hit. Something tells me Team Ivy's not exactly worried where their next meal's coming <laughs> from. It's okay, he'll be fine. Maybe he's in good hands. Doesn't look like their first rodeo. You don't want to win like that anyway, catching a six. You, huh? you don't care, right? Just however it happens? <laughs> that would be dirty. He, he, won't, he doesn't want to win that way. He'd throw it back. If a six comes, he'd just throw it back. I sure would. He'd be like, you know what? No, I don't, I don't want it. I, I, can't, I can't win like that. Bad for my reputation. The only thing that's bad for Phil's reputation is how much smiling he's been doing. Isn't that right, you little cutie pie? The river card is a 10. All Daniel right. takes it down. Okay. One and zero. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Phil, the bad news is you got to sweep <laughs> that up. Look at this. Read the fine print, brother. <laughs> Yay. What's that? No, I know. Sober. I'm going to. Mm-hmm. Thank you. It was fun. We had fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Boo. Appreciate it. Boo! <laughs> he says boo. You don't mean it. I do. <laughs> no, only a little bit. He came second. That's pretty good. That's almost as good as first. Good for zero dollars. <laughs> it's right up there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guess what, Daniel? The taxes on a million dollars are outrageous. <laughs> Congratulations to Daniel. Commiserations to Phil. Yeah, where the party at? No, seriously, where, where is it? I want to go. I feel good. It was a lot of fun. Shark Cage is exactly what poker is supposed to be. Competition, fun, and some high-level poker as well. Win it? This is pretty awesome. I feel okay. I had a chance to win a million dollars. It didn't work out this time, but uh, it was always the next one. It was really fun playing heads up with Phil Ivey. From a historic perspective, to have a matchup, myself versus him, is what we've done in the game for the last 20 years. It's pretty epic. It was fun and exciting to play Daniel Heads Up. He's one of my good friends, and other than when he's playing me, I'm always rooting for him. My intention was to win, and that's exactly what I did.